Welcome back to the channel and to the Berlin German list spam. So quite looking forward to this book to arrive, arrive today. So I thought I'd get my thoughts and ideas out um, straight away to you. So you can see some of the new formations and some of the new stats and some new units as well. So obviously I haven't really had um, a good week to digest the book. So there are some formations maybe a bit half cocked. Um, but um, this is my first thoughts and first ideas and what to get. Um, onto the table. Um, so we'll go through, um, I don't think it's the order it actually is in the book or forces, but for some reason I made them in this order. So we'll go with that order anyway. Um, so the first one will be the Panzer Battle Group. So this is my Panzer Battle Group. I have two late Panthers uh, in the HQ, nice solid front 10. Uh, unit also have um, four Panthers uh, in formation and four uh, Klausfits Panzer fours and three verbal wins. So the idea would be if I had to put in reserves, the Panzer, the Panthers, and the verbal wins would be smack bang on 40 points for reserves. Um, we also have the trusted Vesps, and now we have a heavy scout troop. Um, so that has your 7.5 centimeter. So that is the 89 uh, with heat. Um, and the two centimeters says 89, but the firepower isn't that good. Uh, and they were, of course, Puma chassis. Um, and then we have an armored uh, Panzer Grenadier platoon to back them up, Ardennes, just because they're confident, um, trained, um, not fearless, confident, yeah, trained, uh, careful is what I'm looking for, which you don't find, tend to find, find too much in this book. But this battle group can have so many different combinations because the two black box units have about five different tank options in each. Um, and um, you can also have Hetzers and you can have an escort platoon as well. Um, so you can really have a good variety of stuff with this formation. So here we have the battle group Panther. So it's careful, so that's good. And obviously the stats are always going to be the same, the 10, 5, 1, the 80, 14 and all that. But it's reluctant now on a 5 plus. So uh, no third right class stand, change that to a 4 anymore. So keep your HQ close to everyone. But um, if you keep them at range, maybe they should stay out of trouble. Um, but they are veterans, so that ain't too bad. Um, but the reluctance, well, like, maybe you can work with that. Again, they won't be assaulting much. And if they do start getting uh, whittled down in platoons, ah, could be trouble. And similar again with the Panzer IV. Um, but this is a Klauswitz uh, Panzer IV. It is a fairly similar um, stats. Again, reluctant, but because it's got protected ammo, that bumps it back up to a, a four to get them back in. So just be careful with you guys in this formation, because if you start losing people, they're going to be running away. So the tank training company is again a formation that can have loads of different possibilities. So I've gone with um, two Panthers for the HQ. Even with taking a Panther, you can add so many different options. Um, one of it's basically um, Panzer IV, Panther, Hetzers, Stugs, anything you want. So then I, again, I have my um, Panther training platoon, Panzer IV training platoon, a Hetzer training platoon. Panzer Grenadiers, um, just again, why I use the Ardennes ones, just for that, they, you know, they know what they're doing and they kind of want to be there and that's what I need in the list. And then we have a Panzer Grenadier training platoon, not a full unit because I'm uh, stuck on points, um, but they do have half tracks with them as well. Um, and then we again have our Vesps and we have our heavy scout unit again as well. And we have a lot of different units to look at for this formation. Okay, so when you're uh, using a lot of the formations from this new book, make sure you actually get your HQ cards out when um, you put them on the side of the table because the stats are different all over the place now. Um, so this guy here is the Panther HQ and all the HQs have the uh, same stats. Obviously they um, might have some remounts better. So it's careful, confident veteran, and then everything you'd expect from a Panther. But it does have old hand. Now basically what that means is a unit that's close to this unit from the formation um, will use this unit skill. Um, so that is pretty handy because we'll have a look at the skill from the other units right now. Um, to uh, confirm what uh, Old Hands actually does in this book, um, 
tank training companies basically skill becomes a four plus if they're within six inches of this guy and if it's a battle group um it becomes a three plus um so yeah a bit different there okay and then here we have um the unit so they're actually aggressive not confident and as you can see green unless they're close to the hq um but that's why they're so cheap so um they'll be hit easier but they're still front 10 so they should be able to shrug a few things off so i'd probably advise um using them at long range and then we have the uh, panzer 4 um with a three plus remount so pretty nice so it's kind of like um almost back to how it uh, is in the older books apart from it would have a three plus last stand as well uh, again aggressive and green um like the rest of the formation Here's something nice to see again. We have the Hetz of Platoon. So uh, we, the aggressive, confident green, obviously counterattack and assault are terrible. Um, but it's a, a self propel gun, so you wouldn't expect it to. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of MGs, as you can see, only two. Um, it is um, forward firing and overworked. Um, but it's a nice little tank. It's front seven as well, so not too bad uh, with an AT-11 gun. Um, but of course, it's um, not the most. Uh, it's not going to be running around the battlefield very well, especially with a five plus cross check. Okay, so this is the Panzer Grenadier training platoon. Um, so following suit with the rest of the stuff, aggressive, confident, green. Um, obviously, they do have limited uh, two on the Panzerfausts. So kind of like what you see for the Germans at this point in the war. Um, you can have two of these units in the formation, but I wanted to have um, a more competent unit. So the um, Panzer Grenadier Lit, um, they're going to be your um, confident with your three plus last stand um, and your kind of like your normal bells and whistles that you'd normally see and being careful and veteran as well um, is what you kind of need. And here is the accompanying half tracks. Um, so again, you can have the two centimeter gun with these guys. Uh, and again, the stats are affected um, being part of the training transport. They don't know what they're doing because um, making them aggressive and green. And um, they're only slightly confident of being uh, there as well. Okay, so this is the Klaus Fitz, uh, Panther um, Infrared Tank Company. So these guys can uh, night attack. Which is quite cool. I haven't really geared this list up to night attack. I do have the um, like lamp half track, but that's just to make a more rounded number for reserves. Um, so we have one panther um, as the HQ, and then we have three panthers with that half track, three Yag panthers, which I didn't think I'd ever see myself using again, and then we have the Klauswitz Armoured Panzer Grenadier Platoon. You can use the Panzer Sturm, which are more expensive, now they have STG-44s, and um, some training Panthers uh, in support with the Heavy Scouts and um, some Vesps as well. Um, so these guys can night attack. If they have infrared, um, they roll two dice on the night visibility table, which is nice, and the, um, the light is able instead of shooting can illuminate a target um so obviously then you don't have to roll for your other units to see if they can see it um you can only night attack as long as it's not a meeting engagement um so i'd have to have a little look at how likely that would be happening I suppose if you always pick maybe maneuver um obviously you'd be more of a defending stance but it won't be a meeting engagement likely um, but it'd be interesting to see how it plays out with these guys. But yeah, I didn't really build this formation with that in mind. Um, but it looks fairly interesting. So I suppose now we better have a look at the uh, the um, unit. Well, I'm talking a little bit about the makeup of the formation. So the HQ is always a single panther. Um, the first black box is going to be panthers. The second black bond black box is panthers, Jag panthers, Panzer four seventies. Uh, Panzer fours, Tigers, or Stugs, and then you have a third box um, with more Panthers, Panzer Grenadiers, Panzer Sturms, and then your AA uh, units. So if you pay attention to the top of the card, where it has infrared um, and then IR, meaning this can do its little night attack thing, um, the HQ card has night attackers on it, um, so you know it can do it. But um, overall, careful, veteran, decent. But they are reluctant um, 
and so is the HQ, so no old hands there. But if you're attacking at night, hopefully you can um, maybe not get a hit. Because um, obviously it'll be plus one no matter what, so that'll be a five. Um, but if you do shoot, um, people, won't be able to, people won't have to roll on the night visibility chart either to see you. Um, but it, you could mean you can get into a better position to fire. But that's it. Other than that, it's a your normal late war panther. Okay, so the yeah, Panther still is front armor 9, um, and stats to go with it again, so careful veteran, assault rating's terrible, and then reluctant with a 6 counterattack. But it's 80-17, so if you do hit something with it, it's going to be your firepower that's going to be letting you down and not your opponent's uh, saves. And then here we have the SDKF Z251, Uhu, or UHU. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so this thing just kind of goes around shining its light on things. Um, it kind of read it briefly. I think they disappear um, when dawn breaks, so they kind of just run away, um, I think. Well, well, I'll clarify that now. Yeah, so basically as soon as dawn uh, turns up, these guys get sent to the rear, but they're only really a point, um, and I kind of use it just to get more of a rounded reserve. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, I might buy a pack or two of these, or maybe one might just be enough. Um, but still, quite a fun little, little uh, unit here. Okay, and then we have the Panzer Grandier Platoon. Uh, again, what you'd expect, careful, veteran, reluctant. Um, but remember, hopefully these guys can uh, stick around a little bit better um, attacking at night. Because uh, they're in the formation, they can move around as well. Um, and they're going to be in half track. So I only um, talk over the picture for the half track, so I'll just leave it on the next slide. And we have a Berlin Fault Schmiege Platoon. Um, don't get too excited, they're not like the ones in the D-Day book, they're slightly worse. Um, but still, you get Fault Schmiege and the, as like D-Day units, they can be massive platoons, which is always handy. And they can also be kitted out with uh, plenty of toys as well. So let me get it up in the book. So it's just going to be Fault Schmiege in this formation. Um, there's no like plenty of little tabs for different units, um, but the Falsh Amiga, as you can see in this formation, one is STG-44s and the other one is MG-42 teams. You still have your little mortars and your 12 centimeter mortars, but this time you can have a uh, scout platoon, which is good, and you can see in the support section, I have three Tiger 2s for 41 points. They are training Tigers, but they are still Tiger 2s, so that's quite good, and we have a um, better unit um, infantry unit as well in the form of the Ardennes Armoured Panzer Grandiers Platoon, which we have seen in a previous formation. So they're aggressive now, but they're fearless, uh, but they're green, but they have a good assault rating. So um, defensively, they're pretty decent, but getting them into an assault would be quite tricky. You can have up to 10 teams in your um, formation. I've gone for seven because I wanted the armoured unit to go along with them, um, but then you can take your pick, you can have um, them with STG-44s as I mentioned, or MG-42 and rifle teams, and again they have limited uh, two on Panzerfausts, and they can be given Panzer Shrax and um, MG S MG-42 teams as well, so they can really, well so if you think about it, you can have a unit of 10 teams with an additional four teams added in as well, so units of 14, so um, maybe that might mitigate the fearless um, aspect of it. And then we have the scout platoon. Um, so I tend to, if I can have a um, spearhead unit in formation, I tend to, even though I'll spend a little bit more on these guys. But they're quite nice. They're still um, aggressive, fearless with green. Um, their assault rating is still good, even though they're scouts. Um, but they're 4 plus last stand because they're scouts as well. Um, but they're STG-44s and they're limited to on Panzerfaust, so, you know, being scout means they can stay on the ground, so they can sneak around and maybe deal some damage to some tanks that stray too close. So now we have the Klaus Fritz Stugger Salken Company, which is pretty much what it is, it's it's all Stugs really, uh, the HQ has to be a Stug, the first unit has to be a Stug. You do then have some drop-down options for the next two units, so the second one, compulsory one, can have Panthers, Jagdpanthers, 
um, Panther Lake, the first two being infrared, and your Stugs, of course. Third one then is Stugs, um, Panzer Grenadiers, and Panzer Sturms, all armoured, and then you have your AA options. So I've just um, gone with Stugs and Panthers, with the Ostwinds, and Panthers probably being my reserve option. Again, the armoured um, Panzer Grenadier Platoon Ardennes variant uh, to help out. And um, this time, the Heavy Scout unit is sporting the new pack, 40, which is quite nice. Add enough points for an OP as well for my Vesps. And I add enough points, but it doesn't cost me any. Two 8.8 AA guns for three points is nice, but they are the Luftwaffe version. Uh, so we will have a look at their stats uh, later on. This is the Klaus Fritz Stug. Uh, just bear in mind, although they are Klaus Fritz, they're not the infrared um, units, so these can't night attack. Um, but they're not too bad, they are careful veteran, again they're reluctant, but they have a 4 plus remount, but they are stugs, and then what you'd expect for self repel guns. Um, you can have the STU H's uh, instead of the stugs, so again it'll be 3 units for 8 points, whether you want that, the stats are there as you can see, so um, if you take STU H's, um, you will save 5 points on this unit, but it's up to you what your play style is, I guess. Otherwise, you could have another unit disease um, instead of the Vesps. Um, well, then you could afford that. Um, well, it'd be 8.9. Yeah, you definitely could afford that, sorry. And have a few more points to play around with other things. Okay, so now we have the Berlin uh, Battle Group, or I keep thinking of it as the Downfall Battle Group. Um, so the HQ is um, always an SDG 44 assault team that is a careful, fearless veteran. And then the th two compulsory units have seven different options, and then you have a third um, unit drop down. Uh, for infantry with again seven different options <laughs> so you could build whatever you want really from panzer grenadier late ss volksturm hitler jugend volksgrenadier panzer grenadier training falschermiger the berlin ones and then you also have um boxes for heavy machine guns mortars um heavy um artillery um, in the form of your 7.5 and your 15 centimeter guns and 7.5 centimeter tank hunters and all of those options can also be SS and there's also command cards to make them Volksgrenadier as well so there's so much um, and there's also a command card to make them uh, Kriegsmarine as well um, so as you can see I've gone for something slightly more um, competent um, <clears throat> well at least one of them is anyway the Panzer Grenadier Elite Platoon um, and then we have the training platoon with their half tracks for maneuverable um, for maneuvering and hopefully to keep them from being pinned. Then a massive unit to Berlin Falschermiege just to keep uh, your opponent fixed on that. Only two eight centimeter mortars, but I do have the Vesps. Again, the three Tiger twos are coming along as well um, with the heavy scouts with the Pack Forty, and I still had a point for an OP, so you could always change that to a lucky card if you wanted to. Here's the HQ, um, so as you would imagine, his stats are very different to the other ones, but he does have old hands, so that's quite good as well. Careful veteran, fearless, and um, last stand on a two as well, which is strange because HQs shouldn't last, need to last stand, they never do. So, well, thanks, um, Battlefront, for, um, well, for giving us that last stand on the HQ unit that we shouldn't need to use. Um, so there we go. Um, and that's the HQ. So if I was just doing it from what I picked, this is the only card, but I will be showing you the um, the Volks, uh, Sturm and the Hitler Jugend card next as well, because I think we should just have a look at them. So this is the Volks Sturm. Um, this is your basically your old men who uh, have been drafted in to fight. They don't want to be here, but neither would any of us really, I guess. Um, they're not very expensive. Nine of them is for five points, seven of them is for four, and an extra point you can give them the um, uh, MG0815 LMG. Uh, they do have limited two on the Panzerfaust, which ain't too bad, but they're aggressive, green, reluctant, with a last stand on a six. But Another thing they have is local militia, which means they don't count towards your reserve limit. So when you're calculating reserves, these ones count as zero. Uh, 
And then we have our Hitler Jugend platoon, or I like to think of it as the Jojo Rabbit platoon. They are reckless on a 2 plus. They tend to throw grenades at trees and end up getting themselves killed or blown up, uh, ended up in hospital. They are fearless though and green, and again, they have the local militia card uh, rule, so they don't count towards uh, reserves. So you can have seven rifle teams with Panzerfaust for six points, uh, five for four, or you can have seven just Panzerfaust teams for six points, or five Panzerfaust anti-tank teams for four. Meaning <laughs> you have a unit of seven Panzerfaust teams running around these little kids. Um, so again, they are slow firing, as you can imagine. If they don't, you know, if they're just the regular rifle team of the Panzerfaust, it's limited to um so it would be quite funny really it'd be interesting having them as an ambush unit so being a four inch um weapon it means if you, you can't ambush them and fire them without moving because you would you would be out of range you could move them i suppose you could always try a um blitz move if you did but um it could be quite dangerous having seven panzer foul shots i know they're going to be uh slow firing but if you're hitting it also aggressive troops are still fours so um you're gonna hit at least three of them and then you even have time to assault in with your reckless kids okay so now we have the Klauswitz uh, Panzer Sturm company so there's basically your armored panzer grenadiers who can night attack now which is nice um <clears throat> so they're kind of like the brigade setup where you have you have one compulsory unit of uh infantry your hq and your aa units i've taken two just it, perfect for reserves then. Um, then you can have another unit of uh, armoured panzer grenadiers or panzer sturm, another AA unit, you have your artillery section, then you have your half tracks with anti-tank guns on it, and then you have um, your tank um, unit in formation as well, and you can have panthers IR, Jag panthers IR, stugs, and then panther late. So I've gone, again, not really going for their... Um, night attack option um because i've got the armored panzer grenadier platoon to back them up as well um we have got the bare minimum of infantry but we have two units of uh, aa units the 12 centimeter mortars and then we have half tracks with pack 40s on them i can't wait to use them but i need to get the models first and then we have panthers in the formation as well and then we have our heavy scout and vesps here it is 7.5 centimeter tank hunter platoon um, as you can see, it's 12 points for four, I mean, bad. It's AT-12 at the end of the day, it's careful, uh, it is reluctant, but it is veteran. Um, and it's a formation unit as well, so um, you do need to buy um, two packs, the AA uh, half-tracks, though, because obviously you can have four. Um, can you have more than four is the question. I shall check my book, which is right next to me. You can have up to six of them, and that would be 18 points. So that would... Would that be a decent ambush unit, potentially? Um, not that I will want to be defending overly much, but pushing forward, you have your AT-12 assets with your armoured panzer grenadiers. Brilliant, I think. And this is the Panzer Sturm platoon, in case you're wondering. It, it, it's just your, like your Panzer Grenadier platoon from the Klaus Fitz, reluctant veteran, careful, but with STG-44s. But I thought you'd like to see it anyway, just to see um, the stats and the nice little picture we have on the card as well. And then the final formation, the Heavy Tank Training Company. So HQ does have old hands, um, so that's quite handy. Um, the HQ is also, um, oh, it's the same stats. Oh no, sorry, I'm not looking at one bloody page. Um, so yeah, everything else is green, um, but this one will be able to help out with your stuff. So what I have is I have two Panthers for my HQ. Um, so you can either have one Tiger 2, one Tiger 1, and one Panther, and then you can add either a Tiger 2, a Tiger, or a Panther, respectively, to either of those. So you're going to mix and match. Um, I have then three Tiger 2s as a platoon, then three more Panthers, and a Panzer Grenadier late platoon, so they don't have half tracks, and then I'll add enough that four is a lucky card. So there are three boxes for tanks um, in the heavy tank formation. The first compulsory is Tiger 2s or Tigers, the um, second one is Tiger 2s, Tigers, or Panther Lates, all training. Then you have another option for Tiger tanks, 
and then you have an option for Panzer threes, and then you have two boxes of infantry, so either Panzer Grenadier, um, Armoured, Training Platoon, or your Panzer Grenadier late, and that's it, but a lot to take, um, and very cheap tanks, and finally we can have a look at the Tiger II tanks for the Tank Training Company. So here is the monster itself, it is aggressive, confident, green, it won't be green if it's near the HQ, it's still front 16 so that aggressiveness shouldn't really matter, and it has an AT-17 gun and a good reach on it as well, and a good cross check and a bit faster than I thought it would be as well, so pretty good. You can actually downgrade these to the Porsche versions, there's a command card for it, which makes it front 14 and slows it down, I think it, it shaves a point off each tank, so that's an option for you if you wanted to get a little bit more units on the table but this is the Tiger 2 and now we'll have a little look at the support options that I was constantly using and then the other command cards and some units I've missed but I think you should see so this is the Heavy Scout Troop, the SDKFZ234 so um, normally we just have the 2 centimeter versions um, these are two points if it's a two centimeter and a 7.5 centimeter or three uh, for a two centimeter and a pack 40. It's gone down in price because they're reluctant but they're still careful and veteran with this spearhead and stormtrooper move. Um, so I need to get a pack of pumas just to make um, two pack 40s. I could make four, I could make two more because it is a build formation for the SD KFC 234 which I could be tempted to, but it just wouldn't look right, but it is always uh, nice to be able to build these units. Uh, and then we have the Luftwaffe 8.8cm AA platoon, uh, so aggressive, reluctant, trained, but 80-14, and doesn't cost a lot, and there's load, there's a fair few command cards uh, for these guys. So yes, there are the rail car um, cards, um, I won't show them, um, I don't want to spoil too much, um, you can buy it yourselves, um, or go on uh, forces you can see them um, but there's plenty to um, make this gun a little bit bigger or put on a railway track okay so then these three build formations are your uh, scout uh, tank company so you have the Lux um, and then you have the oh, I don't know how you pronounce this the other one and then your SD KFZ 234 scout company which I'm fairly tempted to do because it's you know four units now I've already I can already do it for the Puma, so all I need is the four pack versions. So that means you'd still have four pack forties flying around the field that have scout and spearhead with a unit of infantry as well. So tempted. Maybe maybe look to the channel in the future and uh, maybe I might use it. And this is the tank in question, the Ofk Le 38T. At least I get the 38T bit right, uh, Scout Troop. Um, so it has Scout Spearhead, careful, confident veteran, so nice for the Berlin book, um, but it hasn't got a lot of armour, so it, it's, it's one of the more expensive Scout units, Spearhead units you could get in this book, and that's why it probably won't get the uh, models for it. Um, we then have the um, Vestval and Battle Group, so these are SS build formation, um, so you know, you could you could kind of build a, a very similar to this um, with the Berlin Battle Group, but this one you have the Scout, um, no, the SS Tank Hunting Platoon, which you'll see the card for, which I quite like the look of, really. So the Tank Hunting Platoon is quite good because you have your four um, rifle teams with um, Panzerfaust, but then you have the um, Panzerschreck teams, which is on a medium base rather than the small base now, so it has a halted rate of fire of 2 now, and a moving rate of fire of 1. So it's just like bazookas and panzerfaust everywhere with this unit. And it's just, I like the look of it. They are aggressive, though, and follow the normal stats for the SS in this book. But still pretty good and be nice to see on the table. And then you have your Kriegsmarine formation. Um, so it's just the stats change is just the fearless. There's, there's basically, you can chop and change a lot of this um, with their command cards, but this is their build formation. These, yeah, you, you, they just become fearless compared to the other stats that you normally get with uh, the stuff in uh, the book. And that's it for the build formation, so we'll have a look at three more units uh, which caught my eye in the book. 
So we have the MADA 2, um, which is the only difference um, straight away from the old MADA is it's got a uh, front armor 3 rather than 1, um, which makes it more expensive. So because of that, I probably won't get these models, but don't knock them straight away because they're plastic and you can make um, the vests from this box as well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a possibility. So if you don't have VESPs, this is a good box to get. Now this is probably my favourite uh, name for a tank unit in all of the books. The Klein Panzer, Vanzer, Tank Hunter Platoon. And it's just crazy. So crazy I probably won't get it, but it's, it's, it's just hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. I thought I had to get it up on, on my book just to see. So basically three of them are five points. Um, they're careful, they're fearless, they're trained. Um, and they, they have an eight inch range, which is what you'd expect for a Panzer Shrek. But they're firing two shots each, so that's six shots. Obviously you can ambush with this unit as well. Um, obviously the firepower is really going to let you down, but it's AT-11, so there's just they're just insane front one as well it's just it's just a funny i don't know i might even get them just for a laugh but will i ever use them i don't know and then here we have another unit which uh, i don't think i can get um they obviously they look brilliant it's kind of like what you want you want the high t at on like the low armor because then you got your perfect tank hunter and like you know you got your yag panthers and yag tigers which are heavy armored with the at you know obviously beefs the cost up because three of these are 17 points again careful confident trained obviously you're not going to really be doing your blitz move much with this and uh anything can kill it artillery as well but um a good ambush unit 6 at 17 shots you know if you hit stuff it's going straight through i don't know it's a tough sell for me to get them uh, I'm not sure. I am starting to run out of space in my boxes for the Germans at the moment, uh, so that's a limiting factor. And that is the last. So any questions on units I've missed, um, just let me know. But overall, I quite like the book. I like the versatility on your formations. Of course, your motivation and skill and carefulness of taking a fair hit, but you can get to feel a lot more and, and again, a lot more variety. And luckily for me, I don't really need to buy many more models. I probably will get the Volksturm and hit the Jugend. Um, um, maybe not the Panzer II's because I don't think I'll use them outside of the starter set box, in which case I've still got the Africa core ones I can use. I can just say they found them in a crate somewhere. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think.